Hey, this is Buzz, signing on with episode number 37 of Airwaves. And in this episode, look at this beast. I don't know if I can even get it all in the picture. It's the Serio Performer 5000. It's a mobile 10, 11 meter antenna, and it's next on Airwaves. Buzz Stones Airwaves. Hey, this is Buzz, back with episode 37 of Airwaves. And if you saw episode 35, that's the one where I was installing my Bearcat 980 single sideband into my F-150 pickup truck. And at the time, I was using an old Radio Shack magnetic mount antenna on my truck. And I told you that I had ordered an antenna for it, and I mentioned it was a Fighter 5000 by Serio. Well, after I ordered it, they informed me that they were sold out of the Fighter model, but they had this one which is the Performer 5000. It's basically the same antenna, it's just a different color. Uh, otherwise, mechanically, physically, it's identical. And this thing, as I said, it's a beast. Um, this thing is made to handle up to 5000 watts of power. Uh, that's for a short period of time uh, using CW. It will do 1500 watts consistently or constantly uh, also that's uh, rated with CW use of course this being a 10 11 meter uh, antenna you're probably not going to be using it with CW although you could be on 10 meters but uh, yeah this thing uh, I just measured the steel whip on it it's about uh, 69 inches long that's from where it comes into the base here this thing's got a huge copper coil in it you can see in the uh, directions that come with it uh, a picture of it there this thing is it's built like a tank and uh, it's made by Serio the Italian company uh, also I did a previous video on their M400 Starduster antenna and this looks to be another well-made antenna by Serio you see all the basic parts here also by the way you see this uh, yellow tag here it says check genuine product on and I haven't done it yet but I'm sure it's, it is it's got a little scratch off panel here with a, a number you go to their website you put that number in there and it tells you if this is actually a genuine antenna apparently uh, there have been some knockoffs made of uh, Serio products so they've had to revert to this but anyway look for that then you know it's a uh, the genuine article but I bought the antenna from DNJ Radio, and uh, but I bought the base, the magnetic base for it, and this also is made by Serio. Bought this on eBay. The antenna I paid, I believe it was sixty-two fifty, and the base uh, was around thirty, I believe thirty-seven dollars. That included shipping. Uh, the antenna, I believe there was a $16 shipping charge uh, for this. So anyway, this is a magnetic mount. This is the PL model, uh, the Performer 5000 PL, which means it has a PL connector, PL259 in the base. Okay, so you need to have if you're going to, uh, any, well, anyway, you're going to mount it, whether it's uh, with a magnetic mount like I've got here or uh, any other base, you need to have an SO239 uh, to mount this on. They do make other variations of it, but uh, this is the one I wanted since I'm using it on my pickup truck. I need to be able to mount it onto my toolbox using a magnetic mount. This magnetic mount, this thing is uh, it's a big magnet. Now, when you get this, um, the only assembly you have with this is this uh, pad, which is an adhesive uh, pad that goes on the bottom of here. That's to keep it weatherproof, keep water from getting into the base. And if you read their directions, they say you should not leave it on your vehicle. Only use it, only put it on there uh, when you're actually going to use it. 
course that's not very practical uh, and most people would leave their magnetic mount antenna on their vehicle but I guess they're just uh, just a CYA there on their part but uh, yeah just going over uh, their specs here it says it's a six foot four inch overall height now that's including this and uh, that's including the coil and the mounting base all together this antenna stands six foot or six point four feet uh, that's one point nine six meters overall height um, or 71 inches uh, 1.8 meters uh, it is a tapered whip it's uh, thicker at the base than at the top has a uh, 5,000 watts power handling uh, short time it says low loss coil made of 10 gauge 2.5 millimeter copper wire and uh, fully designed and manufactured in Italy so I'm going to put this together and once it's together I'll put it on my uh, F-150 in place of the other uh, magnetic mount antenna that I've got on there and it's really uh, very easy to assemble I, could probably, I mean I haven't even looked at the directions but I'm guessing this goes into here Now, one thing I did notice, because I, I saw some pictures, you can actually, if you want to, you can loosen this and then you can bend this at an angle. So let's say uh, you're not going to be using the antenna for a while and you don't want all that wind drag, you can actually put it down like this and lock it into place or maybe uh, you're going through a car wash or something and uh, so instead of having to take the antenna, the whole magnetic mount and everything off, uh, you could just put that and you can lock it down in position so yeah so basically it's it's a symbol there there's another uh, ring that goes on the base here to help waterproof it uh, when it goes on the magnetic mount so anyway I'll uh, in the next phase of the video I'll have this mounted on the truck and then we'll do another radio check you know in the episode 35 I I was talking to a buddy who was 25 miles away and uh, we were able to communicate easily so we'll see uh, if this antenna uh, performs better than the one I've got on there now so stay tuned okay we're outside now and I'm out here at the truck I've got the antenna mounted on the toolbox so I'm going to swing the camera around here and give you a view of it here's the uh, Serio performer 5000 and I've got the old Radio Shack magnetic mount antenna sitting there next to it just for a size comparison for the moment let's get in closer here as you can see the uh, Serial antenna is quite a bit taller. I'd say probably it looks to be about a foot and a half at least. A couple other things I want to mention about this antenna. Uh, the magnetic mount base you see there, they come in uh, several different sizes. I think this is the largest one. It's a 145. So if you're thinking about purchasing one of these, make sure I would get this size. Um, uh, you know if you have room for it on your vehicle uh, because it's a really heavy duty magnet and will secure your antenna on there as I said it's a big antenna it's going to have some probably some significant uh, wind drag so better safe than sorry right also of course the base comes with coax attached one thing I did notice the uh, coax lead on this is significantly shorter than the one I had on my Radio Shack antenna. As a matter of fact, uh, I had maybe two inches extra uh, coax left after I connected it to the radio, so it fit perfectly. But if you've got a larger vehicle than I've got here on my F-150, um, 
or maybe you've got the, uh, you know, mine's the, I think I called a super cab. It's, you know, got the suicide doors on the back. It's not a full door. So if you had a slightly larger truck with the four doors on it, uh, it may not reach without putting in an extension on it. Uh, just something to consider. Uh, before I uh, do the radio check here, I did want to mention one other thing. Uh, according to the directions that came with the antenna, the antenna is tuned at the factory and I did check it with the built-in antenna checking system here on the Bearcat and it passed, uh, said everything was good. So, um, of course, you should probably always check the SWR on a, a new antenna uh, with your radio just to make sure you don't want to burn up the finals on your radio, right? So anyway, I got my friend standing by here and uh, as I mentioned, Back in episode 35, he's 25 miles away as a crow flies. 280-280, this is 334 calling. Very good, 280, yeah, you sound good on this end too. Um, I was just telling the viewers here uh, that back in uh, a previous episode, uh, we checked it with the old antenna and uh, I asked you uh, to use the same radio that you did before uh, so that everything would be the same. You said it, it's a Lafayette, correct? Yeah, an old Lafayette uh, 525, probably uh, 50 or maybe 51 or 2 years old. Okay, very good. And what kind of antenna are you using? An old vintage ground plane. Vintage ground plane. That's the best kind. Okay, and uh, so what, what, what is uh, my signal reading there on the S-meter? It's right around the four S units. Okay, and I was thinking that on the previous radio check you were saying three to four. Was, was that correct? Yeah, it's a little bit more. I have noticed uh, a bit of an increase, yeah. Okay, very good, very good then. Um, so uh, hopefully it wasn't a waste of money to buy the new antenna. I don't think so. It seems to be performing well, uh, doing a good job. All right. Well, we appreciate the radio check there, 280, and uh, we'll be getting back with you later on. And uh, all the viewers appreciate you uh, checking in so they can see how everything's performing. All right. Very good. My pleasure. Have a good evening. 334-280. Okay, well you heard it, um, he says there was an increase of uh, one S unit on the, using the same radio, same antenna system as we did uh, on the previous video back in episode 35. So overall uh, I've been impressed with the antenna, as I said it's very well made. Uh, the magnetic mount is uh, heavy duty, no doubt about it. Uh, the only thing I would cost you on is the coax length of that as I mentioned earlier. But all in all, it seems to be a good antenna and a good match for the Bearcat 980 single sideband. This is Buzz uh, with episode number 37 of Airwaves. Appreciate it if you subscribe. If you haven't already, be sure to like and share the video. And I'll see you down the dial.